Gamers will pay for high quality headphones but completely ignore the low quality microphone it comes with without even considering whether or not it's worth paying for the microphone that comes with the headset mm. at all. I think Antlion Audio has a very interesting product. A microphone that you can equip to a pair of headphones to get a higher quality sound input. Thanks to Antlion Audio, I got their wireless mod mic to look at and review. If it's any good, this could be a solution for cheaply made microphone headsets. There are three different options of the mod mic. The one I have is the mod mic wireless, which is the most expensive at $150. The other two are the mod mic USB and the mod mic uni, both coming in at $80 and then $55. The mod mic wireless has omnidirectional and cardioid polar patterns. According to Antlion, the omnidirectional polar pattern has a wider frequency response, which is better for high quality recordings. While the cardioid polar pattern does well at blocking out noises, it's more sensitive sensitive and needs a decrease of about 10% in volume in order to match the omnidirectional polar pattern. The wireless mic attaches itself to its headphones with a strong magnet and adhesive. To install it, you stick the adhesive to the headphone and then attach the mic to the magnet. When installing the magnet, make sure you position the mic how you would like so the notches in the magnet don't prevent the mic from reaching your mouth. For this mic, they've used the amazing technology over at Qualcomm AptX for Bluetooth in order to get 35 milliseconds in latency. This makes it about five times faster than your typical Bluetooth device. The mic comes with a mute button on the earpiece portion of the mic and has a battery life of 12 hours. Now that we know what all the features are, let's take a look at how it sounds. First, this is what my microphone sounds like without any post-processing or live processing added to it. I am using the cardioid polar pattern instead of the omnidirectional polar pattern because to me it sounds a whole lot more clear for the vocals. This is what the omnidirectional polar pattern sounds like and frankly it's just a whole lot more flat so I definitely suggest using the cardioid polar pattern. Now this is what the microphone sounds like with a little bit of live processing added. I spent a few minutes just applied some basic filters and this gives you a really good idea of how good you can make this microphone sound. All I really added was an EQ so some compression, a noise gate filter, a fresh air plug-in for the highs and mids, and also a widener to just widen the signal a little bit. And as you can tell, the microphone sounds pretty good. The main benefit of that mod mic is the comfort. The comfort allows you to kick back, still get decent quality out of your microphone, and play games with your friends. If you're a streamer, you can get good quality without having a mic in your face, distracting you from the game on your screen. But if you're concerned with the highest quality production value, and you're not concerned with the price of the product that you're purchasing, then getting a standalone mic would be much better for you. But for those that want a headset with a microphone on it, the Mod Mic is by far the best option for you. You can buy the Mod Mic Uni for $50, get a pair of DT770 Pros, which is what I have right here. You would spend $230. You would have a very nice studio quality pair of headphones with a very nice microphone attached to it. And that would bring a much higher quality than if you were to buy a $230 gaming headset. But again, this all depends on your needs. Speaking of needs, I explain why the Shure MV7, this mic right here, is overpriced. You'll definitely want to watch that video. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.